The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm showing you the original balance board, the Joy Board. That's right. In 1982, Amiga released this for the Atari 2600 and came packaged with a skiing game. There was another game that was kind of released, half released, and there was two prototypes. In today's video, I unbox this accessory. I have my son check it out on original 2600 hardware and talk a little bit about the two prototypes that were unreleased. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's check it out. So, here it is, the Joy Board, released by the company Amiga. Yep, same company that made the computer. And it is a pretty obscure accessory for the 2600. I love that this uh, picture shows how awesome it is to control a game using your feet. We'll see about that. And I wanted to show you the box. Box is pretty hard to get these days. I wanted to show on the back here. It showed several games that were going to be released. And the only one that was released by Amiga was a pack-in. Smart that they did that. Mogul Maniac is a ski game. And that was the only one released by Amiga. There was three other games that were made for this. Off Your Rocker, which was then released by Pleasant Valley Video. And had a kind of a weird label. I don't have the cartridge, but the ROM is available out there. A prototype surfs up. And SAC Alert, which plays a little bit like the game Air Raiders by M Network. And so we're mostly going to focus on the packaging and Mogul Maniac. Might show some gameplay of the other ones too. So here we go. That's the box. The top foam piece does say Joy Board on it. Mine's a little damage on the side. But that's all right. It's still fairly intact. And here's the actual controller. So this is the controller. This plugs into your 2600 or 2600 compatible device. And what you're noticing there is you can plug in a joystick. We're going to do that because I think on some games it'll be easier. And on the bottom, this is how it, what it is. is there's this is essentially you're using your body weight to move around a directional device on the bottom this is connected to the floor and the weight of your body determines the motion and movement of on-screen characters so that's interesting here's the actual cartridge got a weird look to it all right inside packaging there were some goodies there's a business reply card unused very flimsy paper here the joy board instruction manual how it works Here is the instruction manual to Mogul Maniac. Set up instructions. Looks like it has multiple different tracks from Easy Bunny Hill to number nine. Looks like it gets pretty tough. All right, this is Mogul Maniac, and this is my son has volunteered to help with the joy board, and because he is lighter than me. So I'm gonna press reset, and the goal is to ski through the poles, and it's really a tough game. You have to lean the opposite direction. So leaning right goes left, and left goes right. So it's kind of confusing. The goal is, is to ski 
Nice. Nice. He's getting the hang of it. Pretty tough, huh? Yeah, it's really hard. This is why I didn't sell. <laughs> nice job. Nice. He's doing a pretty good job. That's pretty tough. Proof that this kind of works. You have to ski through the, the pull markers and some of them are left and right. By far, this was the best use of the joy board, the pack-in game. Next, my son has volunteered to play Off Your Rocker, and this is the other game that was actually released. So get on the board there. Okay. Okay. So what it is, is you're going to, what, you, what you're doing is you're going to be, it'll do a color and you'll have to match it by leaning up, down, left, or right. Okay. Off Your Rocker is an example of a game made for an accessory that works better without the accessory. I found this game much easier to play with a standard joystick, and maybe that's why they didn't widely distribute this game. You know, it was at the video game crash. You know, very few copies of these survive. If you ever get a cartridge, and you see this label, this is the actual release of it from Pleasant Valley Video. And so it's it's pretty hard to get these days, it's pretty uncommon, but it technically was released by this small distribution place. And so if you have a copy of this, consider yourself pretty lucky. All right, this is Surf's Up, really cool title screen, even though this game doesn't work great with the joy board. And so we're just going to go ahead, you can choose different locations. So here we are, this is the surfboard, and you're supposed to ride the wave. And so there's, you're supposed to stay up on top and not wipe out. And so you get points for staying up on, on top of the wave and not wiping out. And so right now, this is what I'm doing. Oh, totally wiped out there. Nice graphic animation. It's weird though, the surfboard doesn't show the surfer. <laughs> and it's just kind of confusing on kind of what to do. The fourth game actually has a really unique history behind it. And what it was, it was supposed to be a cassette tape game that ran on an unreleased accessory called the Power Module. Kind of like the Star Path Supercharger, but done by the company Amiga. Well, this company, Videosoft, whose president was Jerry Lawson. They made a series of games for this unreleased power module, never came to be. In 2010, Jerry Lawson released 100 copies of each unreleased game with a hard case, manual, and cartridge with other collectors. And it's really cool that this is being released and offered to the public. There are a few numbered copies left of each of these six games and you can get them at good deal games and so here it is this is the just a simple simple hard case simple manual black and white manual and the cartridge which has video soft on the back of it all right this is sac alert it's it's a pretty tough it's a pretty tough game i prefer air raiders over this but here it is and you can dogfight, avoid planes and stuff. I'm pretty terrible at this and so just wanted to show some gameplay footage. It's really cool that this was released. You know this is you know it's it's tough with prototypes because you know you don't know if it was the final gameplay that they wanted. And so this is this is pretty cool. There's ground targets here. I want to show that it's pretty cool. I do prefer air raiders over this, but still neat. Still neat to see that this got released. Just simple gameplay footage. I mean, for Atari 2600 having a first-person flight sim, you know, it's stretching it pretty much. 
it's nice to make these types of video when you have the actual hardware. Also want to thank Video Game Votary for meeting me at Seattle Retro Gaming Expo and talking to me in person. Most appreciated. He's got a great channel, the link below to check it out. Also, if you're interested in any of the prototype games done by Videosoft, some of them are still available at Good Deal Games. The link below to that as well. Thank you so much for the ongoing support as I march towards 90,000 subs. These are fun videos. I enjoy making these obscure videos of obscure hardware when I can. It is most appreciated. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.